hi there welcome back to the next video and in this video i will going to show you how you can aggregate data within tableau prep so aggregating data is a common step that we want to perform most of the times when analyzing the data so in this video um, what we have already done uh, in the past two videos is uh, we have imported the data uh, using the data interpreter and then we have pivoted the data to create a long structure now let's say if we want that uh, we so for example here what you have is for each year for the respective sector you have some values right now it can be production values or it can be some other values i can't really recollect what the values were really referring to i think that those were fdi value because it was a fdi case study so that's a foreign direct investment in india that basically came in into their respective sector and in the respective year but what if if we want that uh, irrespective of sector we just want to understand that uh, what is the average fdi that came in in the uh, entire year so what we can do is to uh, to create a structure like that we can add the step over here and the step will be the aggregate step all right so what we need to do over here as you can see we have uh, two sections over here the grouped fields and the grouped fields is basically your dimension and dimension is sector or year and another field is aggregate which is the numerical field and it will be values so to do that first of all i can uh, just double click on here let's say my question is if i repeat myself is um, what is the average fdi that we got in a respective years so i just double click on that and here is my year value and if i want values now what we want is average but here what we have got is sum so we can click over here simply left click over there and based on what we want as a measure we can choose so we have average median count distinct count so on and so forth so what we can take is average right and as i select the average the aggregated field is uh, coming over here but as you can see the values are summarized and it is not coming respective to each of the year so what you can do is come over here and click on detail and now for each year you have the values that what is the average fdi that has come in the respective year so for example in 2001 i think uh, it was 68.37 uh, is what we come i think it should be in millions of dollars or maybe billions of dollars i i am not really pretty sure about what the value is but what i want to show you is the respective value for each of the year uh, that has uh, come in, in as a part of fdi so if you look at in the pivot step uh, if i just click over there you had one around 1000 rows 1088 to be precise and when you moved to aggregated step what you had is just the 17 rows so think about this that uh, aggregate data if you aggregate it to a right level for your analysis it can really help you to save a lot of processing time as well as the faster response when you are showing it to your user so whenever possible uh, and based on the dimensions and measures you need try to aggregate as much as possible and uh, then use it as an extract out of it to start producing the dashboard so that's about it i wanted to show you in this video and i'll meet you in the next video